Well, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I want to welcome you to another Vespers with Fountain View, a live Vespers here in the studio. We have today Savannah joining me and Jonathan on guitar, and we're glad that you're joining us from wherever you are. I see already some comments already from Missouri, Chile, Jamaica, New Jersey, and all over the place. So we're glad you're joining us, and we're glad that you think that it's worth stopping by to sing with us. So we hope that you enjoy and that you join in wherever you are. As always, you can chat in the YouTube chat and give your song suggestions and we'll do as many of them as we can. And at the end, we'll sing our favorite Friday night song, the Sabbath song as we call it here at Fountain View. Uh, but before we begin, why don't we bow our heads and just ask God's blessing on this Vespers and that his spirit would be here in, uh, in the music. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your blessings to us, and I ask that you would send your spirit to be with us as we sing, and as we worship tonight. Please send your spirit to sing through us and send the angels to sing with us as well. May this be uplifting for everyone that listens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, our first suggestion tonight comes from a name that I just cannot pronounce, and I, I, I want to apologize. Uh, I could try, I could guess that maybe it's two names smashed together, maybe and Ned Ferguson, but they are from Jamaica and they're requesting hymn number 516, which is All the Way My Savior Leads Me, which is, I think is a great song to start with. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but like I said, hit us up in the chat, drop your favorite, and we will do as many as we can. All right, guys, you ready? Let's do it. has a reference to the children of Israel in the wilderness because, and it kind of makes sense now that I think of it, because all the way Jesus leads us. That verse, uh, it says, um, though my weary steps may falter and my soul a thirst may be, gushing from a rock before me, lo, a spring of joy. I see, in other words, that's like hmm. the, the water of life that was in the wilderness that Moses, when he hit the rock, whoosh, came right out. 
that's pretty cool all right we have another suggestion from rebecca teresenko and she's requesting pass me not O gentle savior which i think is a great song and i'd be happy to do that one so we'll just do that one for rebecca she is from australia and she says for real because last time I told people if they said they were from Australia that I'd probably do it. <laughs> so, Rebecca, the real Australian, for you, <laughs> pass me not, O gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Uh, let's do this one in... Can we do it in F? That's like D, or capo 3, maybe? Sure. Pritika Batchen, I'm just trying, from New Jersey, and they're asking if we could s please sing In the Garden. Now, I'm sure they're not the only person that would love us to sing In the Garden. Um, so yeah, for sure, let's do In the Garden. Why not? Thanks for all the great suggestions, you guys. This is, this is great. Um, let's try this. Um... Two, three, four, five, six, capo six, maybe. G? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be too low for you. I come to the garden. I come to the garden alone. Haha, <laughs> probably too low. That's dumb. I come. I'm gonna go two more up, Johnny, or just do D on capo one. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, this is for sure live, okay? I hope they know it by now. They clicked on it. <laughs> All right.
job on the picking Jonathan that was good all right let's continue we have more suggestions and we can really shake a stick at but we're gonna do our best we have take time to be holy Emmy zero one EB zero one Emmy this one's for you it's take time to be holy this song kind of goes really well with uh, in the garden, uh, because it, in the garden is about the time that we take to be, you know, time with God, the joy that we share there when we tarry there. It's nothing. It's like nothing else. But this song reminds us that we have to take time to do that. And for me this week, that was honestly quite a big struggle because this week has been insanely busy in fa- at Fountain View here. I have a lot going on, which I'll tell a little bit more about later, but we have a lot of projects going on. And, which is good. It keeps us busy. But taking that time with God, it becomes even more strained when the, the more busy we get. But the more we need it because we need God to help us get all the things done that we're doing. Probably the same for you guys in school. But, you know, probably wasn't that busy in school, was it, this week? <laughs> all right. Anyways, all that to say, I really think this is an important song. And it's a good reminder for me. And I hope it will encourage you guys to take this time to be with Jesus in the garden. All right, let's do this one in the same key. Take time to be holy. Speak off with the Lord. Abide in Him always. And feed on His Word. Let's 
Awesome song. Mateus, do you think you could pull up the the lyrics one more time for the second verse? This this verse is crazy. And again, all these songs, this is why I love doing these hymn singings, because they're not just entertainment. This is like this is a a worship study for me. But this one, the world rushes on. Take spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be, thy friends in thy conduct or thy or whatever in whatever you're doing. Thy friends will see his likeness, that is, Jesus' likeness, in me. Which which is really awesome, because that's, as a Christian, that's what we want to be. We want to be like Jesus. That's kind of what the word Christian implies, right? But if we don't spend time with him, how are we going to be like him? Like, we're not even going to know what he's like in the first place. So, it was just a great song, and I really appreciate Emmy bringing that one up. Thank you very much. All right. Got a lot of great ones coming on. Um, Midji Ariada, Ariadi. Uh, that was pretty, really bad. Sorry. <laughs> um, requested, do you know my Jesus? And I think we could probably do that one. Uh, it's like a old, nice Gaither song, I think. That's like capo 3 and G. Sure. Actually, let's do capo 1 and G. Uh, oh, capo 2. Ha! Ah, sorry. <laughs> here. Just going to pick out the best one. Here's a, here's a good one from Mari D. 
Nearer to the Heart of God, which is an awesome one. All right. Tom Finland is really wanting to know, is this live from Canada? And the answer is absolutely it's live from Canada. So, Mr. Tom, thank you for asking. And I'm glad you're watching. Where is Mr. Tom Finland from? That'd be a good question. Maybe he'll let us know in the comments. All right. Near to the heart of God. Do you know this song? There is a place of That is the one. All right. Let's do this one. Keep a four in G. songs just seem to always go together on one of these vespers and that was another one uh, that's the place we're going to find our joy our rest our peace is near to the heart of god which is kind of like the other one that we're doing all right great let's continue on we have a request from uh angel m heil or mihail tell me the story of jesus please that is a awesome suggestion which we'll do as soon as we get it pulled up. Uh, let's see. Maybe just down one, sure. Jonathan. Do you want to do this one? Take it away. You want me to do it? Okay, you take it away. I'm gonna do it low enough that it'll be comfortable for you. Too low for me. <laughs> Tell me the story of Jesus Right on my heart every word Tell me the story Yeah. 
of afflicted, homeless, rejected, and For those of you who do not know, Fountain View Academy is a school, which it's in our name, but if in case you missed it, Fountain View Academy is a, a high school, an academy in Canada, and Savannah here is a senior in high school, and she is about to graduate, sadness, in a couple of weeks, and Jonathan is a junior, so he'll be back next year, smiles, two thumbs up, and I was a student a few years ago, but now I work here at Fountain View. So I get to hang out with these kids a lot, which is fun. So just so you guys kind of know who we are, we have a lot of fun things that we do at Fountain View. Obviously, we're a school, so we have a lot of school. And we have a nice farm here that we work on, which is fun. And we also do music here in the studio. Uh, you might have seen some of our music videos. Probably most of you have. Another thing, actually, that is exciting is that we're going to be going on tour again here in the next couple of weeks. Actually, next weekend... Uh, we're not going to be doing a live Vespers next weekend because I'm going to be traveling up to Williams Lake to do a concert. We're going to be doing a concert in Williams Lake next weekend. And the following weekend, we're going to be doing a concert in Abbotsford. So this is the first um, kind of live concert we've done in a few years uh, for various obvious reasons. Uh, but we're excited to be back. Actually, quite excited. Um, actually, I guess we did do one live concert outdoors this Christmas, which was pretty pretty exciting um, but yeah. that was yeah, that was kind of the only event we've done outside so we're excited for that we're going to film it for you guys in Abbotsford so you'll be able to see it um, on our YouTube channel afterwards so if you're not able to actually travel to Abbotsford in BC that's fine if you are in BC or you are in Alberta and you want to travel and come see us in concert you're welcome to do that um, it's going to be on the 28th and you can look at our website for more information so I thought I'd just share that it's exciting for us it's been keeping us very busy because we have to plan that and all the kinds of stuff like that. So that's what we're up to. We're really excited. Uh, and we're also glad that you've joined us here. So now that that little FYI is over, let's continue with our songs. Now, actually last week, or la not last week, but two weeks ago when we did this last, someone requested The Least I Can Do. Um, and actually that time I was like, oh, I feel like maybe we shouldn't do that because I didn't really know it very well. But I looked at it a little bit this last week, and we're going to do it now. I don't actually remember who it was that suggested it, so that's kind of um, too bad. But <laughs> I hope you're watching this time, or that you do watch it, and I hope that you are blessed. For the rest of you, I hope you're also blessed. Uh, we don't do this song very much. We haven't actually tried it. So um, if you guys don't want to do anything, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to try it. But if you join in, that's fine. Johnny, you probably know this a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it in C. Or no, F. Weight of the world. Uh, that's not going to work. 
Let's do it in F. So that'll be, I guess you could do it in D capo three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already got it. Look at you. You never asked me to stretch out my Put nails in my hands. I'll never feel the weight of the world or carry a cross on my back. Nothing I do could ever repay all that you did. song actually well i hope that whoever s requested that last time we did this got to hear it um but yeah that's a really awesome song why wouldn't i give it back that line kind of hits me hard it's like he's done so much for me all he asked for is my heart why don't i give it back to him <clears throat> all right Just checking out these great suggestions. <clears throat> Someone said, ring the bells of heaven, which is kind of a wild one. Um, but let's see what we do. Ring the bells of heaven. Do you know this song, Jonathan? Not really. It's like, ring the bells of heaven, there 
Let's join it in for so returning from the wild. I'm gonna give it a shot, okay? Uh, who was that, anyways? Adina, this is for you. Adina. Okay, you know this one, Savannah? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I do. I think we did this back when your brother was in school. Yeah. Before I was like <laughs> a student. I'm gonna do it in G, G, so if you have trouble, just join in there. That was a fun one. Jonathan, you have to learn that so you can play it with sure. us next time. How about that? All right. Someone asked for Tell the Mountain. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Didn't we try this last time? I think we did. I think we tried it last time. Yeah. Maybe we can just... That was... Uh, maybe Keita Riley or Quita Riley. This one's for you. Tell the Mountain. Uh, we can do... No, what is it? Haha. <laughs> is it in G? In the photos? No, that's not it for sure. So this... C, I think. To begin with. What is the chain? Right at the first uh, chorus, there's a key chain. No, and then it goes into just, e. just try to remind. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that would be. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we can do it in. Capo five in G. To start. Yeah. Okay. Okay, people are crazy, man. <laughs> Asking for <laughs> insane ones, but you know what? That's fine. It's a great song. I actually love this song. Listen for this this uh, phrase. You tell the mountain just how big your God is. Basically, it's like when you have a trial in your life and it's like not going great. Basically, tell that trial. You're like, no, listen. <laughs> I have this God and he is like huge and you're going to want to move out of the way really quick. And if not, God's going to like give us strength to climb over the mountain. So there's there's two options, obviously, but tell the mountain. Okay. In the foothills of sorrow, looking up from the valley of fear, you can see doubt off in the distance, and you're about. Don't ever give in, don't ever give up God is 
mountain will tell you that you can make it over. It will try to convince you that it's way too high. Though you feel defeated, know that God keeps his promise. So you tell that man. Someone's requesting Ed across, actually, Ed across. Ed is requesting God will take care of you, which I think is a great suggestion. Also, Keita Riley uh, is watching from Jamaica. So I'm super glad you're watching and I hope you're enjoying. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. All right. Let's see... G, John. Sure. Awesome.
every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. All right. We have a viewer from New Zealand. Happy Sabbath from New Zealand to Al mm, Denauto is the last name. It's like Al Al Gray. All gray. Ugh, I really feel so bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, can we sing Near My God to Thee? And that's an awesome one. We'll do Near My God to Thee. And then we'll probably do the Sabbath song after that. Because actually, if you guys are, would believe it, it is almost time to go. So, All right. Near My God to Thee. Even though it be a cross near to thee. This is a crazy, crazy song. Because if you actually sing it and you and you mean it, it basically says that no matter what in life, still my song would be near my God to thee. Like, that's that's the cry of this song. Anyways, think about it as we sing it, and ask yourself if, no matter what happened in life, if you still would want your song to be near to God, near my God to thee. I think we should do this D in capo 1. song 
it was a couple of years ago that I realized that it's actually, I think it's talking about uh, Jacob when he was running from Esau. Because it talks about how um, he is sleeping and he's dreaming of the angels beckoning him. And then there's he raises a Bethel out of the stony grief. Anyways, it's kind of really good, really great poetry, kind of depicting that whole picture in a in a really meaningful way to us, not only just like a story of poor old Jacob when he's having a rough night. All right, everybody. We're going to sing the Sabbath song, which here at Fountain View is a Friday afternoon and evening tradition. Um, but it's a tradition because it reminds us that we want to go to heaven. So we hope that you enjoy, that you join in. And yeah, let's be, let's be blessed by this last song. Do you want to come in on the second verse? Piano. Yeah, okay. sure. Sounds good. Later.
Well, I want to thank every one of you for joining on. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time. May the Lord bless and keep you, and once again, have a great evening.